Hi guys, Emmeline here. Welcome back to Fierce and Radiant. Today we're going to be talking about the Match Wand Correcting Stick by Avon. Now this is a color correcting makeup stick that's going to be coming out on March 29th, 2023. And I was able to get my hands on all three shades. So we're going to get to see them all in action today. So let's take a look. Um, first of all, this green one is called Pistachio. Get that focused. If it'll focus, well, you can see the color. <laughs> That's Pistachio. Um, and then the yellow one is called Gelato. And then there's an orange one that's called Sherbet. So let's get started with the demo. I'm gonna do the green one first. Um, okay, I haven't even opened these yet. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so this is pistachio. Um, and basically, guys, with color correcting, what you're gonna want to do um, is you're gonna like picture kind of what's on the end of that color wheel. So this one is gonna be good for like red areas, red blotches that you want to neutralize. Um, it looks a little cooler than I expected. It's almost like a, a teal. Um, you guys can see the color. There you go. Um, so yeah, red areas aren't one of my main skin concerns. Um, I do have like slight red patches on my cheeks at the moment. Um, it's like the one time ever I'm ever sad that my skin is clearing up because it was way redder the other day. Um, so that would have been a good way to show you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very slight today. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use my finger for this one. I have a brush here, um, but I, of course I'm going to demo all three shades. So I want to save that my under eye um, okay <laughs> so yeah um, as you can see my my skin wasn't as red as um, as others might be so you can really see <laughs> the green um, try to get the angle right. Let me go a little higher with it. <laughs> oh my God, it looks crazy going on. Like until you really rub it in. <laughs> wow, okay, so a little bit goes a long way. Um. I really didn't need as much as I put on, I think, because you can see the green. And I have all of, all of undertones as well, so. <laughs> um, so with a layer of foundation, that obviously wouldn't be as obvious. Um, but again, um, I'm more the target market for the other shades and not so much for the pistachio. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at these other two. Um, let's do gelato next. So these are both gonna be for like the under eye areas. I mean, you could put other places as well, but that's where they're gonna be most useful for the most people. All right, so the gelato, um, so imagining that color wheel again, this one is gonna be best for um, like bluish areas with like a warmer undertone. So like blue purples um, compared to the orange which is gonna be better for like an olive blue, um, like blue green. And I'm excited that this shade is being offered, like an orange shade, because often with color correcting um, product lines, the warmer option is more of a pink. Um, so I like that this is like combining that um, so with something a little more neutral, but still um, gonna correct those like bluish undertones. All right, so let's try this one first. I'm going to try this one under my right eye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to rub it 
Da -da. Oh wow. Okay. Wow, so I can definitely see the difference. Um, I mean, my undertones are more olive, so I think the orange one's probably going to be the best for me, but you can still see, like, it corrected a lot of that blueness. Um, let me put it out here as well. My veins really show on the out outer edge of my eye. Oh, wow. This is really helpful. Look at that. Okay, so on the left eye, I'm going to try the orange one. I'm going to use my brush. <laughs> oh, it looks weird going on. Okay, I got to rub it in. Wow. Okay, it's a little more... <laughs> um, I think I needed to go a little lighter with the application. Because it's quite bright. Um, I'm wondering if I need to like dab it directly onto the brush to get a light application. Look how orange that is. Oh my goodness. But the other thing you have to remember too with all of these is, um, you know, once you put your like concealer and or foundation, it's not going to be as impactful um, as far as like, oh, my skin looks orange or my skin looks green, um, etc. Um, you know, <laughs> you have to wait to put your foundation on to really see what it's going to do. So yeah, right now it looks like a weird self tanner or something. Um, but I'm going to put on some foundation. Before I do that though, let me get another close up here. Um, so hopefully the camera's picking up what I'm seeing. Um, but you can really see the difference now that I put like the green down here and the orange up here. It's like a stark contrast. Um, and then on this side, I didn't put any green just for reference. So I'm going to use the Cashmere Complexion Foundation, my favorite foundation. All right, so here we go. This is all three with the foundation. So this um, is the side where I put on the orange and the green. Um, so as you can see, it really did neutralize that olive blue undertone on this side is where I put the yellow and then nothing underneath and you can see the redness underneath the foundation which is a little interesting it's very slight but um you know compared to the other cheek it's kind of noticeable <laughs> which I was not expecting got a little lazy under here I need a little more foundation Okay, that's a little better. Um, yeah, so it really, I'm pretty impressed. Because um, I, I really struggle with my under eyes lately. I usually put concealer under my foundation, but I really appreciate having something a little warmer um, in the orange. Yeah, I wish I went a little lower with the color corrector. Um, the only thing I'll say is um, I do recommend going like a little heavier than you might think because again like I was saying they were so vibrant going on um, but I think I did need a thicker application of the yellow um, you can kind of see the blue um, like right here um, so yeah I just went a little too light with that yellow so it's really something to keep in mind um, cause you might feel like a clown putting it on, rubbing it in. But then once you put on the foundation, you will be happy that you put that thicker layer of the color corrector. 
And as far as the feel of these, it feels pretty much just like the Magic's Wand foundation stick. For those of you who have tried that, um, you know it's nice and like creamy without being too greasy or anything. It is formulated with shea butter and vitamin E, so that helps a lot. But yeah, if you're looking to something to compare it to, the Magic Wand foundation stick feels pretty much exactly the same. I also didn't experience any caking with this, which was really nice. It's advertised to have no creasing or caking. Um, and I think it's definitely accurate. It was really easy to blend, you know, it, there was no like build up in spots or anything like that. So it's really easy to work with for sure. I do recommend using a brush. You know, the finger, it worked, but it was a little bit harder to really blend. Um, the brush blended it pretty nicely. The brush I used is the Complexion Blending Brush by Avon. Sorry, <laughs> my camera's not picking it up. Um, but it's the Complexion Blending Brush. For me personally, I think the Sherbet is definitely going to be my best friend. With one layer, it was already working better than just a concealer. Um, you know, sometimes it's not a matter of covering it up, but a matter of neutralizing the tones. So I hope this video was helpful. If you need more help choosing a shade, um, feel free to comment and keep your eyes peeled for the launch. I'll see you in the next video.